of Forgiven Ministries. And today I have the honor and the privilege and the pleasure to sit and talk a few minutes with none other than Pastor Antoine Michael Barrier, the pastor of Household of Faith Family Worship Church International in New Orleans and on the West Bank of the great state of Louisiana. Pastor, how are you today? I'm heal healthy, whole, and strong. I'm blessed that I got it going on. From the crown of my head. To the soles of my feet. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Because greater is he that's in me. Than he that's in the world. You sent your word and heal me, Lord. And your word shall not return void. Look, you got to be in the house to understand it. But listen, we're here th today to talk about something great that we're getting ready to do for our preschool teachers. Those who touch the lives of little ones ages zero to five years old. Pastor, we want to celebrate them because as you know, July is my min minority. Minority Mental Health Month, got my m and and ms and that's where the focus is on mostly people of color, people who are of a, a status that's a little bit below poverty and poverty, who don't get the mental treatment that they need. But this event that we're going to have on July the 18th and the 19th uh, at the Children's College here at 1415 Test Street, did I say that right? We're going to celebrate our preschool teachers and uh, Pastor Barry and I were sharing about mental health, and you gave me your perspective on really what's the main focus to mental health. Well, mental health, first of all, starts with spiritual health. Okay. And uh, Scripture simply says, you keep your mind stayed on him, he'll keep us That's in perfect good. peace. Yeah. So uh, we have to build ourselves up okay. uh, with the word, mm -hmm. and then we have to have uh, solid uh, people around us, encouraging oh, us, uh, helping us to be what God has called us to be uh, so that you're not weary and well-doing, so you're not uh, overwhelmed. Yes. Uh, stress is such a fact in our community. Yes. Uh, we definitely have to have individuals to help us to de-stress mm -hmm. uh, because, again, if we're stressed out, everything's falling apart. That's a good point, too, because most times the churches, some churches, are not addressing mental health specifically to our community. And so I know you've been dialoguing, you've been teaching us about mental health, but you said something that was so key. You said the key to mental health is eating correctly. Let's share with that a little bit. I mean, I heard somebody say this once. Uh, they said, you're not sick, you're dehydrated. Mm -hmm. uh, if our bodies are more than 90% water uh -huh. and we are not hydrated well, wow. we're not eating correctly, then how wow. can our minds function properly? Wow. Uh, you know what we look at a lot of times that we'll say somebody's intoxicated, somebody's, uh, you know, under the influence. Okay. But if you don't have the proper nutrition, you're still lacking the influence. You're lacking wow. the proper nutrition to wow. help you to... Uh, thinks out, you know, we talk about your, uh, your, 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 your body's out of chemical balance. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we need the proper nutrients. Uh, we need the proper diet to help us to have a solid, uh, mindset, wow. uh, a, a proper mindset. Wow. I mean, you know, again, we all can easily see if you are, uh, drunk. Mm -hmm. Okay. But again, the lack of proper, uh, food and nutrition still leaves you in a space of not being able to function to the place that you should. Wow. And all of that leads to what this podcast is about. We're going to celebrate preschool teachers. Preschool teachers are the lowest paid in the career industry, but yet they nurture your athletes who are getting multi-million dollars a year per contract. They help all of your affluential people. They taught them how to tie their shoes, taught them how to be potty trained. And yet there's just a lack of support for early educators. And we know we were talking earlier and you were saying we got to get those young people between zero and five. That mind is collecting. That mind is processing. But we need qualified people to do that. So on July 18th and 19th, we want to celebrate preschool teachers. If you teach ages zero to five years old, we want to celebrate you. You know, the theme is stop the wheels on my bus from going round and around. Mm. We did a survey among preschool teachers. We did that survey about three months ago. And here it is. 66% of our preschool teachers, they struggle with stress, depression, Urinary tract infections, and we're going to stop right there at the urinary tract infections because you're wondering, well, what that has to do with teaching. 
is simply because preschool teachers cannot leave the children unattended. So mentally, they've already clocked out and said, I'm not going to the restroom until whenever I go to lunch or whatever. But don't you know, even on the weekends, they're so programmed, they don't use the restroom often, even on their time off. And that's not judging them. That's not dinging them. But we want to sit them down. We want to celebrate them. Let's talk about July the 18th. We're going to have you to lecture to us about the mental health with the wheels on the bus. The ro- the wheels are going around. The wipers are going back and forth. The baby is wah, wah, wah. The driver saying, move on back. Mentally, what could that possibly do to a teacher who's already stressed and struggling? What, what do you think that can do to a teacher? Well, I mean, I think that just pushes you over the edge. Yeah. I mean, it's more than we can handle. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone has a breaking point. Wow. And uh, the point for us is, you can be under pressure so long you don't realize it's wow. damage. You know, uh, I know Pastor Everett can throw this in there, but, uh, you know, a lot of times we use the example of uh, the frog in the boiling water. Yes. You know, it starts off, uh, you know, just warm water. and it, But now because it, the temperature has increased slowly, mm-hmm. the, the frog boils to death, mm-hmm. you know, because he hasn't understood it's too much at this point. And I think that's what happens for our healthcare workers, our teachers, yes. our, our caretakers. And especially, you know, you're talking about uh, these teachers, instructors, because there's so much going on, yeah. so much dealing with, you know, the children. Yes. But then your own house. Your own house. Your own family. Yes. You know, yes. and it becomes very easy to be overwhelmed. And now everybody suffers. Yes. You know, and yes. I think, again, uh, because zero to five is the most important time for the development of our children, we need the best people around our kids. Absolutely. You know, who understand, who can really nurture them, who can pour into them, that would change the whole trajectory of their lives. That's why we want to celebrate them. We, we want, want you to, to know you're not forgotten. We no. appreciate it. You know, all across the city, state, nation, there are back to school festivals, there are giveaways, and most preschool teachers can't use those items. They can't use book covers. They can't use rulers, even though I know they wish they could use a ruler. <laughs> they can't use rulers. They can't use pencils, all of that stuff. So on July the 18th specifically, we want to make sure we celebrate them. We want to give them things to decorate the classroom. We want to give them stickers. The preschool teachers love stickers. We want to give them Play-Doh. We want to give them the equipment to make slime. They love making slime. It's those little things that nurture our children and get our children, their mind, really the cognitive thinking and processing and, and getting it developed. We understand that to our preschool teachers and we want to sit you down and just let you know how much we love you. The event is absolutely free. If you would just zoom in on this and get that QR code and register, I think we might have about 40 slots left. It's absolutely free. We want to celebrate you. We have fresh fruit for you, fresh vegetables. We want to give you eating alternatives. You know, the average preschool teacher, pastor, she will eat or he will eat a bag of chips and a soda. And get right back on the game. Because while the children are asleep, there's paperwork they want to catch up on. They got to make mental notes so that they'll know what to tell mommy. Because everybody want to know what their child did. And rightfully so. But there's really no breaking point for a school teacher. When she signs in or he signs in at 8 o'clock, they don't stop until 5. They do not stop. So we want to sit you down. We want to celebrate you. I know during the lecture, Pastor Barrier is going to tell you what to do with your bus. I know it by the Spirit of the Lord. He's going to show you what to do with your wheels, the wipers, the the, the driver, which is probably the owner telling you to do this and do that. <laughs> but I'm sure the Lord will definitely give you something for that. Let's talk about mental health. We know it's Minority Mental Health Month. The average preschool teacher, and I'm talking specifically preschool teachers because most preschools, daycare centers, can afford health insurance. Okay. So the, the average preschool teacher, and I can talk from experience from my staff, the quality mental health facilities don't accept insurance, and it's a minimum of $250 to come and to even get to see them. Not many preschool teachers can afford $250 at cash. They didn't say Zelle. They didn't say cash app or check cash. You got to have that to come into the door. What's your thoughts on how the system is ran? Because if a preschool teacher needs 
mental help, she has to or he has to go to the emergency room. And in the emergency room, you may get medicine, but you don't get treatment. What's your thought about that, Pastor? Well, I think, you know, our health care system is, it, it's a crisis system. It you is. know, it, it's not really set up to, to help you to stay healthy. It's mm -hmm. there to manage the crisis. Wow. So, you know, like you said, okay, it's too much at this point. I can't afford to go in to see mm -hmm. or receive them as a help. So I go through the emergency. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, they're just, in, in fact, I was at the emergency the other day uh, with a family member and they were simply saying, uh, you know, we're at, at the, at the emergency, we're not set up to do uh, the necessary tests that are needed. Wow. You know, we're here just to do the tests to just diagnose where you wow. are and to get you back out, you know, wow. in a quick amount of time. Treat the symptoms and send you back. Exactly. So, you know, but to get to the root of it, we have to go so much deeper. And that's why the system is flawed. And we need individuals. And, and I think the thing that's so important here is that most of the individuals don't even realize yeah. something's wrong yeah. with the system right. or realize what's wrong with me. Yes. You know, yes. and so we shy away from it. We don't want to talk about it. Mm. And then we do know that, especially in our community, is always a stigma. Right. So if I do start saying, hey, you know, I don't feel so well, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I'm not thinking clearly or, right. you know, well, what's wrong with you? Right. You know, so, right. so we, we try to, but I think again, letting you know that, there is a place and that there are people who are willing to hear yes. and to take time and to talk with you uh, to get you the necessary help because yes. it is there. Because we also have some great sponsors who is going to be there. We have some um, mental health therapists, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not counselors, because there is a difference between a counselor and a therapist. A counselor can just listen to you and talk back with you, but a therapist can pull the onion layers back and get to the root cause and provide help. So we have some of those organizations who have given me their word. They're going to be there and they're going to offer sliding ski, uh, sliding scales. fee scales mm -hmm. for uh, payment. And they've accum accumulated some funding. Some of our teachers will be seen at no cost at all. All you have to do is sign up. All you have to do is get there. I promise you that you, will be blessed. Let's talk about in our uh, last two and a half minutes, let's talk about some of the symptoms that our preschool teachers have. It's the back. Uh, we need support, you know, and, okay. and I'm talking from experience. I watch them pick up two and three babies and then got the bottle and the diaper, you know. You know, our, our child care centers need back support, not the little ones that, you know, you can go and get from Timu, no no dice to Timu, but we need, you know, to be fitted so that you can, you know, sit up correctly. I'm, I'm asking, you know, for medical organizations to provide that, and then I'm asking the state of Louisiana, the licensing division of education, to help us to get those things that our teachers need. I, I mean, to actually hold a baby because the infants, you can hold them up to 20 minutes every hour. But the toddlers, a toddler that's crying and all, and we have some big babies coming through the scene mm -hmm. since COVID. The average infant that's in, in my child care center, the average infant is 13 pounds. Wow. At four months old, 13 pounds. So, you know, you're lifting, you're bending, you're playing with them. You know, I think it should be mandated that child care centers are provided health care or back care so that the, the teachers could actually straighten themselves up and you know because it like you said mentally I'm not thinking I need to straighten up I'm bending over to pick that baby up or those babies up if I'm playing with them but we have something for you because we're going to have a few back braces that we're going to give away all you have to do is make your way there so Pastor Antoine Barrier thank you so much I know July 18th is going to be phenomenal listen I'm Melanie Pichon with uh, Forgiven Ministries you want to stay tuned for part two as we talk about July 18th and 19th as we celebrate our preschool teachers 1415 test street you gotta be there scan the qr code register it is absolutely free and we'll be right back at you with pastor jonathan everett thank you so much mm -hmm.